Good morning, everybody. My name is Mike Beecher. I'm the plant section chief for CAL FIRE IMT1. This is the car incident operational briefing for Wednesday, August the 15th through Thursday, August the uh, 16th, 0700-0700. If uh, you're a branch director or division two, please find your way to the front row. For those of you in the back, move up where you can see the monitors or see the map behind me. Please make sure your radios are turned down and your phones are muted. If you have a side conversation, I ask that you take it away from the briefing area so the, not to disturb those that are listening. Yesterday uh, was the first shift after um, a fatality on the Mendocino complex. Uh, firefighter Matthew Burchette from Utah uh, died. He was struck by a falling tree on the 13th of this month. Um, I'd like to take a moment of silence for he, his family, and the fire family at large. started with uh, current update on conditions. All right, good morning everybody. Alex McBath, Operations Section Chief Trainee. Uh, last shift was a very productive shift on this fire. Um, I'll go around branch one, two, and three. They're all in patrol, mop up, and they're securing the edge. Uh, most of the work now is, uh, is, is looking towards removing the hose and the garbage. So uh, for today's shift, make sure you talk with last night, find out what they accomplished and where that hose and stuff is. That'll go all the way up to three, up into branch four, pretty much the same along the, the current perimeter and control features. Um, everything's looking real good and they're mopping up, getting 100, 200 feet up in on, on uh, branch four. Down in Oscar in branch four, they did some firing last night, it went really well, uh, went as planned and that'll continue uh, through, through when you guys get out there. Uh, branch five, Papa Sierra, looked really, really good. Papa's going direct, cutting off uh, cutting off a lot of this indirect line that we're looking at and uh, move forward. Thank you. Please take the time today to refer to the ICS 224 page one of your IAP. You'll find the management and control objectives there. Please take the time to brief during your breakout sessions and your table work sessions before you go out on the line. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, good morning. Ryan Walbert, an incident meteorologist. So the weather pattern remains pretty quiet overall, but there's still some subtle changes that uh, you should be aware of. If you were not out yesterday, uh, you know, late in the evening, you might have noticed some of the cumulus clouds uh, in the vicinity. We even had a little burger shower move over the camp area. Uh, so there are some things going on. We have a little bit of instability in the region. Uh, early this morning, we already had some lightning north of Mount Shasta. That being said, we don't expect anything over the incident today, but we'll continue to kind of watch that uh, and look for the instability. So keep that in the back of your head. You don't want to have a black swan event occur. Uh, if you're mopping up down in the southern divisions, you should have light south-southeast flow. It should remain favorable for you. Uh, in the uh, Papa country here, if you end up up on branch four, same thing, kind of coming off of the lake. Uh, light southeast winds through the day uh, shouldn't be of much concern. Temperatures will get up into the 90s for most of the fire. Heat related illnesses will kind of creep up on everybody as we get deep into the incident. Uh, LAL is one, 
Haynes is four, and recovery tonight on the humidity should get to about 45% after about 2,200 hours. Thanks. Good morning, Don Say Fire Behavior. So continuing with the challenges within the interior here of fire weekend trees, green slopes, green islands, rollout, and lastly, roots. Roots that are underneath the roads that you guys are driving on, and this thing's burning like a fuse from one end to the other. And as it travels underneath the road that you're driving on, it weakens that roadbed, and you come around the corner, and you drop a front wheel into that root area, and you have a five-pound sack lunch yard sale going on in the front cab of your vehicle. So when you're out there and doing mop-up, keep in mind the next person, who may be you, driving that road, and you're going to hit that smoldering log. Put that stuff out and use a tool doing it. So with that, branch one, two, and three, expect to see that smoldering activity. Now branch four and five, what we anticipate with the PSD, with the fire application that Ops has been doing and the fire and grip has been doing up there, this will predominantly stay a surface fire. It's going to find those fuel jackpots. It could transition via torching. It could transition with some short crown runs on there. The secret topography will see those areas get up and move into the canopies a little bit here and there. This is all terrain driven, fuels and topography driven fire right now. Still has the potential of spotting. Last night about four or five o'clock in the evening, it broke loose, it had some free air, it took a deep breath and you started to see those columns up and moving. I expect the same thing to happen today, possibly a little bit earlier. So keep in mind and watch, watch out for that activity today in Oscar and Papa particularly. What I want you to know, like Ryan touched upon, is that we've got your back. We're the intelligence section, we are the incident meteorologists, we are the fire behavior analysts. We've made contact with the meteorologists here and the fire behavior analysts. We're communicating with them to where they are aware of our activity, we're aware of theirs. When Ryan talked about the thunderstorm activity to the north and to the southeast of us today, we're vigilant on that and we're going to let you guys know if that's going to come within 20 miles of the fire area so you guys can take appropriate action. Take it a safe day. Good morning, Paul Carlos, Resource Union Leader Team 1 with Branch and Division Roll Call. So please stand and shout out as I call out your name, please. Uh, Branch 1 and 2, Darnell. Here. Division Tango, Sanchez. Here. Division Alpha, Baez. Division Bravo, Peter. Here. Branch 3, Noel. Here. Division Delta, Wallen. Division Hotel and Mike, Boyk. Division Hotel Trainee, Bertrand. All of Branch 4 resources will be getting a briefing at Lakehead Camp, just in case anybody's still out there. Branch 5 is Lada Trainee. Here. Division Papa, Landing. Here. Suppression Repair, Road. Here. And Anderson Staging, Goodwill. Here. Thank you. Good morning, Tony Brown, Incident Management Team 1, Day Operations. Light at the end of the tunnel, this time it's not a train. We're getting there, but I want to make sure everybody's not being complacent. This is where our stump poles become issues, our weekend trees become issues, and driving becomes an issue. Keep vigilant on what's going on. We're almost there. So starting at branch one, seek and destroy all those hot spots. So my RF master coming out today, go in there and get those spots, put them out. Branch two and three, same thing. Seek and destroy, there's islands burning out, we need to control those, make sure they're not gonna spot over the line. This is where we're, at. we're gonna be on foot a lot. Go way deep in this thing, make sure we're out. Moving up branch three, like I said, um, that boost is looking good. Still a little bit heat in here, we need to go in and search out. Uh, Division Mike, same thing. Let's get, get in there and get, get deep in that thing, make sure we're out. Moving into branch four, Nora, Oscar. Okay, this is where a lot of work has been done in here. Let's hold this. We're doing some firing operations here. It's gonna take about two or three days to knock this out with aerial. Nice slow burn, so if it does get in line, then keep your head up and watch for spot. Moving to the pop-up, we got that, that peninsula cut out, we're doing good, keep working that. And then down in Sierra, we're gonna go direct on this line down here instead of doing that firing operation like we talked about a couple days ago. This is not pretty country, it's gonna take a little while to cut that out, but I think we're gonna be a better place. Keep your head on the swivel, pull the hose out, identify the hose you can get rid of, get it back hauled in with the trash. We're almost there, keep up the good work, thank you. 
Good morning. Matt Hill, Air Operations is in Management Team 1. For today, we'll have air attack and fixed wing uh, as needed, and then we'll have Helco up early. We are going to shut down Weaverville Helibase today and bring all the aircraft, the rotor wing, over to Mountain Gate. We still have the uh, Trinity Mobile Retardant Base over there, and we're going to utilize that to reinforce some of the areas over in Papa and uh, and Division S. For today, we'll have five heavy water droppers and three medium water droppers. Air Rescue will be Guard 841. It's a 24-hour resource. And please, if you have any aircraft orders, go through your division or branch, and uh, we'll do everything we can to support you. Make it a safe day. Good morning, Brock Clark, Safety Officer for Team 1. Today, you're going to have eight safety line safety officers assigned to the incident. You'll have two that are on a 12-hour resource. You'll have a dedicated safety officer to Division Oscar and Division Mike. Your biggest hazards associated with this operational period is when you drive and snacks. They're still getting us out there, all right? So we need to make sure as you're driving, if you're working along any roadways, make sure you're visible, you got your code three lights on, and you're not around any blind corners. Our snacks, we need to make sure we identify them, make notification and flag so other resources are aware where they are. For those resources that are being demoed, make sure your equipment is operationally sound before you get on the road. You're the one signing those cards making sure that they're, they're operationally sound. So you need to make sure that you're putting in the time to ensure that they are. And then make sure yourselves and your crew are well rested before you get on the road. Have a good shift. Good morning, Pete Sokol, medical unit leader. Uh, today you're gonna find your medical plan 206 on page 40. We're gonna have multiple medics and EMTs out on the line today. Uh, three ambulances, one at Drop Point 55, one at Lakehead, and one at Lewiston. On page six, you'll find the line emergency reporting procedures. Please take a moment to review that page. It's very important to review, review it with your crews. Also, please do not diagnose over the radio, and please do not say any names. If you want a laminated nine-line card, please see your fire line EMTs that are carrying a whole packet of them. Reach out to them, grab one. It's important. Have a safe day. Good morning, Jesse Morris Logistics. For those of you that are new to camp, if you could please turn to page 55 in your IP. You'll find logistical needs for all of, you'll find locations for all of your logistical needs in camp, and on page 58 are the times, location, hours of operation. As a reminder, it is one sack lunch per person. Those are 24 hour lunches. Please continue to follow the traffic plan in camp, park in the designated areas, and sleep in the designated areas. And on page 45 today is the CAL FIRE 101 form, and those forms are used for items you may have left on the line. You'll need a division group signature to get those items back out of supply. And for excess hose and trash, I hear you guys are doing a great job bringing that back in. Please continue to do so. Make a request through ground support or through communications for backhaul back into camp. Uh, in addition to that, no change in the comp plans today. And have a great shift. Thank you. Nope? Yes. Uh, Lisa Murphy from the Public Information Office. I'm a trainee. Uh, this morning I've got your uh, total acreage at 2011, 2011 uh, and 38 acres. Uh, for total containment, drum roll please. Come on, drum roll please. 67%. We've got a total of 4,101 personnel on this um, fire. Uh, we have our media policy. If you're posting any photos or videos, please make sure that it adheres to the Cal, um, Cal Fire um, protocols. Um, if you're interested in getting any of your photos or videos up on the official site, please come by the PIO office um, or get those to us. Um, if you see any media out there on the fire, um, please let us know. We can get somebody out there to escort them in properly. If you're missing anything, if you're missing your wallet, if you're missing your reading glasses, your wedding ring, um, cell phones, please come by. We have a lot of that stuff in a box over at the PIO office. And um, if you're looking to mail something home or if someone's mailed something to you here, uh, we also have the mail service over at the PIO office. So have a safe day. Thank you very much.
couple of messages before we move to final comments. Uh, on page 44, you'll find a finance message. If you need assistance from the finance section, they're located in Vassar Hall. Reminder for out-of-state local government engines, you need to be completing a fuel ticket. Today there's a uh, cooperators meeting in the Shasta Hall at 1000 hours. If you are demobbing, please refer to the demo list that's posted around camp, also available electronically. And there's a uh, demo notice on page 50 of your IAP. If you are a trainee, please report to the training specialist located for Sarah Hall. We're pushing up against 300 trainees. Please don't wait for the last minute. Get in there and check in. That message can be found on page 51. Uh, additionally, uh, for branch directors and division soups, please make sure that you're taking roll call and down downloading that information with deputy ops prior to leaving the base. Upon the completion of your shift, please check in with cost apportionment and uh, download your information with them. At the completion of the briefing, please report to your posted breakout areas. Final comments from our executive manager. Good morning, everyone. Mike Van Logan, Sales Deputy IC, IMT1. Listening to ops and looking at what's going on out there, very successful over the last few days. So for that, I thank you. But again, as, as we keep hearing from safety and from ops out there, stump pulls, snags, driving are always a key issue. So continue to be diligent on that and, and uh, be careful out there. Um, we're starting to get the demo list going. It's starting to get bigger and bigger every day. So for those resources getting ready to travel home, remember to be cognizant when you're driving and be cautious out there. I know everyone's tired, everyone's ready to get home but not home until you got home, that engine's parked, you're off the engines, you're home with your family. So that, that's our number one goal is to ensure everyone gets home. So with that, let's go out there, have a safe day, and be diligent, and split this thing to bed. Thank you. That concludes our briefing. As a reminder, if you are unassigned resources, please make sure you check the depot list, make sure you're not on there. If you are unassigned, please make sure you're checking out the unassigned resources to my right and your left. Thank you. All right, boy.